all right what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample right now so yeah let's get straight to it so the first thing i did i went to the albion solstice bank right here which is a crazy bank you got these three folders right here the cassette orchestra the drone grid the solstice orchestra this first one has a folder with just a bunch like hella presets crazy amount of presets and uh, the second one has this drone grid which kind of randomizes different presets like infinite amount of presets crazy crazy stuff and then finally we got the solstice orchestra which is where i went i went into the bells and mallets right here and i went with the main techniques and yeah i made this pattern The effects I added was just an EQ and then a portal. I went with the Grain Experiments Bank and the Rising Tensions preset right here. And finally another EQ. The pattern is pretty simple. So basically I just made this simple melody right here, which is like a A sharp minor, but inverted in some ways. Here's what it sounds like. So hella repetitive pretty simple but yeah i liked it so i just wanted to add a little counter melody to it to make it uh, more interesting and less repetitive so this is what i added you know i just start off at the a sharp did some chops here and there added some notes here and there After I had that, I rendered it out to a WAV file just to save CPU, I didn't do anything to it. There were some clicks in the sample, and I couldn't get rid of them, so instead of getting rid of them, I just added this texture right here. And the next thing I added was this simple little pattern right here from Contact. This is the Ashlight Bank, I've been using this a lot recently. A great bank for textures, bro, a great bank for like counter melodies, a cool background stuff, cool um, sounds, cool you know cool stuff bro cool shit in this shit bro so yeah definitely go grab this and yeah i just placed out one little note right here and then i exported it and uh yeah i did nothing to it so here's what it sounds like so after that i went back to analog lab and i went with the black palm sleeve uh, this one is from the opia uh, opia bank by september right here this one and i made this pattern with it Yeah, pretty simple. It's almost the same in the both sections, but in the second section right here, you know, I moved this note a little bit to the left right here. And then I did a little chop just to add more bounce to the lead. And, you know, I just added a few more notes. But one tip I got for y'all with this lead melody, it start off with the F sharp to F, because when you use those half, half steps, I just really liked how it sounded when it went from F sharp to F like this. I just like the half step uh, sounding stuff. I kept that from F sharp to F, F sharp to F, and then I just added some transition notes before the leads go over. So I just added these two right here, and here I did a little more complicated thing. But yeah, that's the lead. For the effects, I just added an EQ and a little reverb. And then for the final sound, it's also from Analog Lab. I went with this Mother Bass, which is made by Louis Flynn. This one is from loophole number three right here. And I just kept the bass notes at A sharp throughout the melody and added some bouncy things here and there. So I'll play this with the lead together. So yeah, that's the bass, you know, some chops here and there, some higher notes here and there just to make it more interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the sample. That's everything that was to it. Hope you enjoyed this breakdown and yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. <laughs>